Hi guys, I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV and we are still at the OC event here in Cambridge. I'm with the guys from the second deathmatch. Uh, on my right side, here comes Peter. Hey Peter. Hello. <laughs> and on my left side, here comes Nick. Hey Nick. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy was the second match to, uh, to go on. I will start with you Peter, how was it? It was pretty interesting. Um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. You only have an hour to set a score, so you have to be very uh, methodical in your process. So actually, you were although using uh, XT on the 4790K. Uh, what frequency did you reach on the on the CPU? Um, for the for the first benchmark or for the final benchmark score, it was 5.7 gigahertz, and in a couple of seconds after the the, the round finished, it was 5.8. Uh, well, you did actually lose this one versus one against someone that uh, used the LN2 for the first time, if I'm right. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, it's an up-and-coming superstar, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we did discuss a little bit right after the... Uh, because right, bef right after the, the, the match finishes, you, you submitted a good score. And um, you were saying like you might have some issues with the contact in between like the, the CPU and the CPU bots. Do, do you think that was the issue where you could not go lower and get a better score? Um, no, the, I think for me the issue was that um, I didn't know what the memory was capable of, so I was flying blind on that one. And I made a mistake of trying to adjust the memory timings, which was not necessary. So I lost maybe 15 minutes because of that. Um, for the final run, I, I did the right approach and just went XMP uh, one memory multiplier higher, so you're sure that all the timings are still properly tuned and you get the higher, the higher performance. So that's when I had the... the the proper score. Well, good. Second guy, uh, second guy here with me is Nick. So Nick, uh, you won this uh, one versus one. How do you feel? Yeah, great. For well, first time Alan to overclocking, so it was really good. Yeah, enjoyed it. So, what, what does it? Uh, it makes you special to beat Massman at this game. It, well, he doesn't do a lot lately. I know he's amazing in his day, as far as I know. Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, it's just. Look at the draw, I suppose, and just getting some scores in there. Uh, can you remember what was the, the, the most difficult thing for you as that was your first time doing LN2? Uh, just uh, maintaining temps because uh, I was getting a lot of cold bugs at the end, and the board just wasn't playing ball. So the last 15 minutes was just a no go, really. And again, like Massman um, with a memory, never even really got a chance to touch that. So. So, what was the, the, the cold boot you had, like which temperature basically? Uh, that, that was about 125, uh, and, but even lower than that, and it just, well, that's liquid nitrogen, I suppose. It, the ball just wasn't playing ball, so. What's, uh, what's your like, uh, like feeling about this one versus one com type of competitions? Do you like it? Yeah, it's good, yeah. <laughs> it's Sorry. challenging, though. Yeah, cause it's just the time. Certainly, I'm so used to ASUS boards, uh, going to MSI, knowing where things are in the BIOS, and it's that part of it's difficult when you're under a time limit. Good, perfect. Well, uh, congratulations once again in uh, beating uh, the master massman. Uh, sorry for you, Peter. Uh, maybe uh, better, better luck another time. Anyway, you can still moderate the score after that, so <laughs> you, you still have a... A little bit of power somewhere. <laughs> so thank you guys for uh, watching this interview. Uh, don't forget you're gonna post all the pictures on our Facebook page and uh, don't forget to subscribe although on our Twitch channel twitch.tv forward slash overclocking TV. Until then, keep pushing it.